So you want to get the audio output from your DAW into your broadcast software so that you can stream music or production live on Twitch or YouTube. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. As I'm sure you're aware, it is quite difficult to get the audio output from your DAW into a broadcast software so that you can just live stream music or music production off of one single computer. And I'm going to show you a very, very easy way to just get it going so that you can start streaming live music or streaming music production on your Twitch or your YouTube channel. And it's a really, really simple setup. Now, the first step is that you are going to need to download OBS. Streamlabs will not work with this because it doesn't allow you to use VST plugins, but OBS does. When you have OBS up, it'll look something like this. Oh, look, this is OBS. What a wonderful place to hang out. It's basically just a broadcast system that allows you to live stream to the internet. Once you've done that, the next step is to go to the reaper.fm slash -E rea plugs website. It looks exactly like this. This is the exact spot. The address is right there. It will be down in the description as well. And you're going to download your plugins. So you either are on a 32-bit computer or you're on a 64-bit computer. Download the one that you need. And uh, that's that. In this packet of free plugins, there's tons of stuff, anything you could possibly ever need. Uh, there's a compressor, a couple compressors, there's a delay, uh, you've got some EQ, you've got a filter, a bunch of different stuff. But the only thing we really care about is this plugin called Restream right here. This is the plugin that you're gonna use that's gonna allow you to redirect your DAW into OBS with all of its processing so that you can have microphones with compressors on them, so you can have your guitars running through amps, so you can have all of your music production and your software synths everything will have control over it for for streaming music and such so once you've downloaded that it's gonna put an application in your downloads folder just run the application once that application is run you'll see a list of all of the plugins and you can choose which ones you want installed I only installed restream but I already installed it so I can't install it for me now um, but you can keep any of the plugins that you do happen to want and use them in your DAW so once you've selected restream and you've installed it we can pop over to our DAW AW and do the rest from there. Now I am using Studio One, as you can see I'm recording right now, uh, but this will work in literally any DAW at all. Whichever one you're using is fine. If you're looking for a DAW, uh, I love Studio One. But basically what's gonna happen is you're just going to go here to your master bus, wherever it is. You're going to add an insert. You're gonna find Restream. It'll be in the Cocos folder, wherever that is, however the, the plugins are laid out in your DAW, and you're just gonna add it to the master bus. Once you do that, you'll get this little plugin right here. Uh, it's gonna do all of the work for you. What you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to leave it as default, move it to send audio slash MIDI, and then you're gonna have an option drop down here, and you're gonna wanna set it to local broadcast. This will make sure that it's broadcasting directly inside your computer and not trying to send across a server or a network. Then, as you can see, there's audio being metered right here. Uh, you can you can check and see what your levels are like. Once this has happened, you're gonna now be able to direct all of your audio into OBS. So let's pop back to OBS. And in OBS, we see here that you have a couple options. So. I have already the DAW plugged in. You can see that it's metering right here. This is coming from my DAW. Uh, and in order to get this, you're gonna click on this little add button down here in the corner in the sources window. You're gonna select audio input capture. I've already got it here on this DAW, but let's just say new. You can call it DAW, you can call it whatever you want, and then you're gonna click okay. And then from this list, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pick one of these unused channels from your DAW. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch. So for mine, I just chose the ADAT line because it's not being used for anything, but you basically need to do just direct it to use to an unused channel because you're, we're gonna be getting the input from the plugin and not directly from the interface itself. So hit okay, that adds it there. Then you're gonna right click on your DAW source and click filters. We're going to click on this little plus button down here and you're gonna see VS2 plugin. You're gonna click on that and it's gonna want you to name the thing. So whatever, just name it that, that's fine. And then once you're in there, you can see that right at the bottom is the Restream standalone plugin. And when you click on that, it's going to apply that plugin to your new audio input, close, boom. And now as you can see, I have another channel that is doing the same thing as my DAW. They're both metering in like that. And that's 
it. That's all you have to do to get the audio input from your DAW directly into OBS so that you can stream live on the internet. There are a couple other ways that you can do this, but this is the cheapest, freest, fastest way to do it. Unfortunately, it means you cannot use Streamlabs unless you feel like spending money. This is the free, easy way to get your audio out of your DAW into the OBS broadcast so that you can stream live on Twitch. If you found this video insightful, informative, or entertaining, please obliterate that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see a video where I break down how to set up an entire music stream to get yourself going uh, up to this point, you can check out that video in the corner right here. There'll be a link to it, or it'll be down in the description. And that's it. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm Andy Negative, and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Bye!